Okay, in this video, I mentioned how we're going to be looking at three Sacagawea gold dollars with the P mint mark on them, looking for two die cast errors. And basically, you're not going to find it on the front. Although, it is a pretty picture, you know. Let's see if we can draw back a bit. Give you a better view. Take a focus. There we go. That works. It's pretty big. And you notice it's a 2000. It's a P. It's a Sacagawea. And nothing really stands out. But now, flip over to the back. And I forget exactly what they call these two different die casters. There's a certain names for them. I think one's called the Spearing Eagle. And what the Spearing Eagle is, is right through here, it's supposed to be like a spear, looks like it's going right through the eagle. And then another one, I think is the Chew Eagle. I'm not exactly positive, but that involves these back wings right back here. They're supposed to be have more detail, than, a lot more detail than that, if it has that die cast error on it. But as you notice, on this Sacagawea, nothing stands out. Not the Spearing Eagle, not the True Eagle. I'll even zoom in for you. Let's look at that tail. Okay. Nothing with the tail. And if you look at the chest, we're pretty close up on the chest right there. You don't see no spear going through nothing like that. So that's a normal Sacagawea. Then we got another one right here. Another 2000P. Let me pan back for you. Sorry about that. Um, we'll go all the way back. There we go. To max we can. Another 2000P. I don't know. I mean, the P right there might be... I have to take a look at the other one, but I think there might be a die chip in that P. I'm not exactly sure. And you notice we still got in God We Trust. Nothing ever went out of front. Now... Let's see about on the back. Okay. Same scenario. We don't have a spear going through it, so there's no die cast, no, no, no die chip there. We don't have no super decorated up tail wind, so we don't got no die cast error there either. And then let's look at the third. Third, 2000P, tw tw uh, 2000 Philadelphia Mint Mark. Nothing stands out. <clears throat> All the littering looks normal. I'm praying that at least one of these will be a good one. So let's take a look, shall we? Bada bing, bada bang. And nope, nothing there. You can tell because, like I said, there's again no spear through the eagle or arrow. I don't forget exactly what that is. supposed to be like something's going coming from up here, down. Stop it and then come through the chest that you go right there. And also, again, nothing with the, with the um, tail feathers. That's all the, the, the P ones we got. Let's see here. I know we got another sack of joy. Um, we got a whole lot of gold dollars. Okay. This isn't a 2000 P. But it is a 2000 D. As you can see. Nothing stands out. The letters, the letters are the same. The whole front's the same. Everything, right? And as you can see, nothing. Nothing special with the chest. Nothing special with the tail feathers. Nothing like that. Now, some of these ones I wanted to go through. I wanted to. See if you guys can actually see this because um, I think I got me some proofs in here. Um, I have to figure out which ones we are because we got a lot of them. Well, let's check out this next package away just for fun of it. What should be a 2000D? As you can see nothing. She's she's pretty worn. She's seen her. She's seen some age. And as you see, I mean, look how bland that eagle looks. 
I mean, he's seen his, his time too. But that's not hard to show you. Okay, they talk about coins out there that have a a mirror-like shine to them. And I don't really see that many of them. I'm trying to find them for you. But this one does stand out. I mean, look at that sheen on him. And this is the third presidential dollar, the third president. And uh, I have to pull you back a bit. Um, hold on here. Not, not pull you forward, pull you back. And if you look on the outer edge, look at that. They put in God we trust on the outer edge. And you gotta admit, that is pretty cool. And I think 2007. Huh. Yeah, that's like a Philadelphia mint mark on the edge of it. it says E Plunus Unium. But most presidential dollars, let me, let me bring you forward again this way. We can get you back in focus. See, now go. Oh my god, my eyes are shot. Because your eyes aren't shot. But, you gotta admit, that's still pretty cool. All presidential dollars are gonna say that on the very edge. But he has a very special sheen to him, like the other ones don't really have. Um, so it's sort of hard to figure out if I got any proof with that one. Um, I don't see nothing else that could be considered proof. Well, this, well, I might have shown you this sackage way, huh? She has that special look to her where she has it sheen. Sorry, it's hard to show you. But this is a bunch of dents. And the, and the Sacagaweas don't say nothing on the edge. Okay, how about this is a 2000, uh, sorry, 1979 Susan B. Anthony. This one is supposed to have a die cast error, not this exact one, but. These are supposed to have die cast errors where I think from information that is coming across my ears down here where the numbers are are supposed to be a lot closer to edge than they are right there. Almost like touching it, and that's supposed to be a die cast error right there for the, the two that the 1979 Susan B. Anthony's, but only on the 1979 Susan B. Anthony's. There's like a stern woman. Wouldn't want to mess with her. And then if you look, you got the eagle. Isn't that pretty? I mean, I have to look a bit closer at these. I mean, because they, there might be dye chips on some of these that people don't know about yet. And if they don't know about it, then I find one. Then sweet. But as it looks and as it stands, it looks like this is just a regular Susan B. Anthony. So... All I got to say is until next time, may all you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day and a great evening. And I'll broadcast again when I find some more good finds for you. Until then, bye.